In San Antonio, there's a kind of graffiti war underway between a lot of homeowners, city officials, and taggers. News 4 WOAI's Patricio Espinosa takes us inside what many call a never-ending flight. How often do we just drive by one of these, shake our heads, and be on our way? But what if this was your barrio, your own neighborhood? As you can see some of the graffiti over there, and when they go through here, they'll tag every single tower going through. They'll just go through and tag every tower, telephone, light poles. We're only a few minutes from downtown. This man, afraid of retaliation, asked us to protect his identity. He has been fighting graffiti and taggers for years. And they're tagging all our stop signs, all into this entire neighborhood. Northwest Los Angeles Heights, this is our boundary, Blanco and Bassey. And over here is North, I think it's uh, North Moore. And on this side, it's Delview. I try to, you know, delete their tags, cover over them. And for every effort that I make, they make an extremely better effort at, at uh, marking it up again. So it's a continuing thing. It's, it's never ending. I get tired of it. We all get tired of it. We all do it. We all get involved in doing it. And it still continues. But neighbors will not give up. Every other weekend, you will find volunteers Los vecinos, they call themselves, working together, painting over graffiti. We're working, and I think this is going to be our first step into maybe getting something going and maybe have it regularly. So, you know, we can just continue and paint over the graffiti. But here's the thing, you paint today and it goes back up tonight. Well, Mr. Espinosa, there's a medicine for everything, so hopefully this is a, the start of that medicine to kill this virus, you know. Do you track the people doing this? Um, as far as I know, as long as it's actually on this like if there's actually an incident happening, you can contact um, safe officers so that way they can actually come. For those of them who don't know, can actually call their district, get that phone number. If not, call 911 and actually report the incident happening immediately. And that is law enforcement's biggest challenge in San Antonio. See, you can only get these guys if you catch them in the act. Like this tagger downtown caught on camera and arrested minutes later. But this doesn't happen every day. The homeowner associations are pretty strong on the west side of San Antonio. And uh, they gather a lot of information and they feed us information all the time. And we go and we'll identify, attempt to identify that tagger. It is kind of frustrating that, you know, you might, people say, well, why don't you go arrest him right now? You know who he is. Uh, if we don't have a witness, which is important. You know, we have to have a witness. Or the officer didn't see him himself. We cannot arrest. This France gets tagged a lot. And knowing how Hart is getting taggers in the act is something this neighbor knows very well. And they come out here on Fredericksburg Road because all the buses that come through come through here from our neighborhood. And it's the easiest. West Avenue, you catch it, it comes through here. They get off in here and they start tagging up here. They're, they're out here in the wee hours of the morning doing their business and then they're not seen. And sometimes they're seen. Every once in a while we'll score one and we'll catch them. Patricio Espinosa, News 4, WOAI. The city has set up a graffiti removal hotline. That number is 207-BUFF. The program can help you with paint supplies and volunteer opportunities.